continue to follow breaking news out of West Philadelphia this morning. First responders have rushed to the partial collapse of a row home there. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live in the city's Mantua section this morning to bring us up to date. So what's the latest, Matt? Well, this happened around 6.15 this morning here on the 3900 block of Aspen Street. If you take a look, you can see the mess that left behind. So much has just spilled outside of this home. There's a window there on the ground, uh, as well as it looks like furniture. This also caused a downed power line here. If you take a closer look uh, inside, you can see kind of the, the metal framing, it looks like, of the house kind of just juts out in the center. Nearby homes, we're told, are also being evacuated uh, uh, just out of fear that uh, this could, uh, this partial collapse could extend a little bit and we talked to a neighbor a little bit ago she tells us there's a woman who lives inside the home she was fortunately not there at the time take a listen oh it's, it's just terrible i've never seen nothing like that i didn't even hear it you know just heard the trucks come up and came out and seen it like that it's just horrible it is horrible but this thank god nobody wasn't in the house you know god is good i'm telling you it is really awful yeah, and it's really kind of a miracle here. That's because the the woman who lives here, we're told she works an overnight shift. Uh, we're not sure whether or not she was at work at the time. She typically works during the week, but a neighbor tells us that uh, she, she usually arrives sometime in the morning, sometime uh, around 7 o'clock. Um, she hasn't shown up yet, uh, and, and right now you're taking a live look at some photos on the third floor. Uh, that wall of what might have been a bedroom is still intact somehow after this partial collapse. Uh, first responders, again, are on scene trying to evacuate some of these homes. We're all, we also just saw license and inspections here. Uh, they're not telling us anything yet. They're still trying to figure out exactly what happened here uh, just after 6.15 this morning. Reporting live in West Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.